Republicans' plans for the new Congress are as notable for what they plan to block as for any legislation they would like to pass. Chief Washington correspondent Jim Engel has the final installment in our look at the GOP agenda. Republicans have picked up seats in the Senate and taken control of the House, and many see that as both an opportunity and a mandate to block administration proposals. Well, I think the American people voted for a substantial change. They saw what has happened in the last two years in the Obama administration and didn't like it. Look, Congress's role is to be the check and the balance on the, on the president. Well, I'm not supposed to be the lapdog for the president. I'm supposed to be the check and the balance. We're supposed to be challenging the president and the administration. Though there will be dozens of smaller disagreements, Republicans say many fall into one broad area. We can go agency by agency, regulation by regulation, and ask the question, should the government be doing this? Naturally, Democratic House members take a different view. Well, I think the main thing is that the Republicans should not try to undo uh, the major legislation uh, that we've passed, you know, health care reform, Wall Street reform, uh, Small Business Jobs Act. But Republicans say new regulations will be put to a simple test. Do they create jobs or not? Does it give people more opportunities? And if the answer is no, then we should oppose those regulations coming out of government. The biggest concern for Republicans is what is expected to be a wave of regulations on all sorts of issues. The environment, for instance, where the administration has been unable to pass the cap and trade law to severely reduce carbon emissions. And, of course, the new health care law will require dozens, if not hundreds, of regulations to implement it. A real question for us to wrestle with as to whether or not the executive branch should really just be able to do anything it wants that it can't get through Congress. The answer is no. Something called the Congressional Review Act allows Congress to pass judgment on any new regulations. And so that means Congress is going to step up and say, wait a minute, we want to have our say so as well. You have to have an up or down vote on that by the elected members of Congress. That is Congress taking authority back from the executive branch. So by a majority vote in each House of Congress, lawmakers could reject any new regulation. And in the Senate, a vote cannot be blocked by a filibuster, meaning a new regulation could be rejected by a simple majority instead of 60 votes. Not only that, if the House blocks a regulation, the issue goes immediately to the Senate without delay. Of course, the president can always veto such action, but that would be, well, unseemly if both houses of Congress have already voted the other way. Shannon? It is a very interesting possibility. Jim Angle, thank you.